So acute eye problems crop up in the AKT exam quite often. The topic of sudden visual loss is very popular. So I'm going to go through six topics to do today. Giant cell arthritis, amaurosis fujax, retinal artery occlusion, papilledema, optic neuritis and retinal detachment. So giant cell arthritis is an important cause of visual loss. There are a few important points to bear in mind with this. The first is that it's a sudden eye loss tends to occur in people over the age of 50. The important investigations are the ESR and the CRP. Now when you're interpreting the ESR result, the upper limit of normal for men is half the age. The upper limit of normal for women is half the age plus 10. If you're using ESR and CRP to diagnose giant cell arthritis, then it has a 99.2% sensitivity. The full blood count can also give you important clues with giant cell arthritis. If a patient has a thrombocytosis, then the risk of giant cell arthritis is six times greater. The biopsy result is unaffected by treatment with steroids, so don't delay treatment before getting a biopsy. More causes of sudden eye loss. If you're sitting an exam, amaurosis fujax is another possibility in the exam. And when you're trying to work out the diagnosis, think about the risk factors because these are really important. So when you're looking at the lead-in, Look for hypertension, diabetes, elevated lipids, thrombophilia. Giant cell arthritis can present in a very similar fashion. Another cause of eye loss is retinal artery occlusion. Now with this, the loss is sudden and painless. And there's a fixed scotoma. Again, consider risk factors. Elevated blood pressure, elevated lipids, diabetes, thrombophilia. Another cause of eye loss is papilledema. Now there are many causes for papilledema. Idiopathic intracranial hypertension is one of them. There's a 20 times risk if the patient is obese and beware any neurological signs or any signs of infection. Optic neuritis is another cause of visual loss. It's usually unilateral and sudden. The age range is in patients between the age of 20 and 50 usually and it presents with a retrobulbal pain and decreased colour perception. So look for this in the history. There's a relative afferent pupillary defect. Now what that means is that when you're alternating a light between two pupils, when it goes from the unaffected eye to the affected eye, the affected eye constricts less, so it appears to dilate. 70% of patients with optic neuritis will have MS, and for some patients it's a first presentation of MS. And finally, retinal detachment is another cause of visual loss. With retinal detachment, it usually presents with flashes and floaters. There's often a gradual reduction in peripheral vision, and patients sometimes describe it as a curtain or a shadow coming down. When you're looking at an examination question, there may be some clues as to retinal detachment. It's more common in patients over the age of 50. There may be a past medical history of retinal detachment or a family history of retinal detachment. It's more common in extreme myopes and it's often seen in association with the history of recent eye surgery. So in recent feedback from the Royal College of General Practitioners about the April 2016 AKT exam, they mentioned eye problems as an area of poor performance. We've listed a few common causes of visual loss and these have come from a reference from the Australian Royal College of General Practitioners.